welcome to your reading this is going to be for the month of october going towards november now um what i'm gonna do this time is that i'm gonna change the format of these readings just a little bit and see if you guys are liking it and i'm starting with leo and um i i'm also going to have your yearly love forecast for 2022 so um, i'm gonna have the first six months here on the public channel and the next six months you can also um, come to the membership site if you are being drawn to it or if you are being called to come and join us and um, i would be happy to see you guys there now um what i'm gonna do today is that for your energy reading um i'm gonna ask the spirit some questions and see what the answers that are going to be coming and there are some questions that i'm also going to be continuing it in the membership site so again if you're interested you can join us and i would love to see you guys there okay so let's just start this reading and um I wrote down the questions um, for, for spirits <laughs> about your connection and uh, the first one is what is happening in this connection for both energies as of now okay so this is the energy of what is happening now and the second one what are some of the influences number three what will happen in the future I might not go exactly in the same order but um, because I also want to give you guys um, uh, some of them like how do they feel about it uh, a little bit like you know I think I might change the order but these are some of the questions and the other one is um, what will happen in the future the number four what what is the spirit advice about this connection and number five how do they feel about it okay so I think I'm gonna cover number one two um, number one two five and um, I'm gonna leave uh, the three and four for the membership site so come and join us if you want to know more about it and we are just gonna start this reading and see what's going on okay so let's ask the spirit what is happening uh, in this connection as we are as you guys are listening to this uh, reading right now what is happening for you my lovely Leo's I know that usually in the beginning I channel the energies however it also takes me quite a really long time to do that because it requires a lot of lot of concentration and I know that the zodiac signs they come in pretty late so I want to give you guys more readings and more zodiac signs in a month rather than just um, because the channeling in the beginning that's where it takes a lot of time so I was thinking maybe this way I can a little bit um, give you guys more uh, for the public channel because I know that you guys been, you know usually wait for this reading for a really long time <laughs> okay guys so um, let's just start this reading my lovely Leo and see what is happening within your connection we're gonna take a look at your energy and their energy and see what is going on and also the energy of the union okay so spirit please tell me what is happening within this connection what is going on here okay we have the star that's beautiful that's on your person's end okay could be an Aquarius for some of you Leo's that you are watching this perhaps your divine counterpart could be a an Aquarius all right but they're saying that this person has a lot of high hopes about the connection they're feeling very hopeful about it um, they hope that they can renew this connection they're getting more and more inner clarity uh, feeling positive about it um, they, they believe that they you know you two need a miracle for it to happen and they believe that this miracle is happening this is what they feel all right we also have um, the chariot which is a cancer maybe for some of you there are an Aquarius with cancer in their chart or vice versa and we also have Queen of Cups okay on your end Leo and we also have the eight of wands on their end okay so things are happening really really fast actually for you Leo you just need to keep faith you need to have faith all right and um, you also have the five of pentacles okay on your person's end and we also have um the ten of cups this is beautiful as energy of the union and um all right what else do we have here we also have the seven of wands okay and we also have the ten of pentacles wow 
this is beautiful this is energy of the union and we also have uh, the temperance maybe you have Sagittarius also in your charts for some of you that you are watching this Leo's and also some water in your chart okay or it could be that your person that you are dealing with could also be a Sagittarius sorry guys there's something on my cards oh no I think it got dirty somehow mm. I don't like that I don't know I think I have to find a way to clean it I'm just trying to do it with my um the cloth but um yeah maybe later on i'll try to clean it up i don't know something just went on it anyway so let's um continue the reading okay all right and look what we have we have the strength card and that is a leo okay so let's see what is happening for you and your divine counterpart leo all right just give me a second guys all right okay so what they are telling me is that first of all your person is feeling very very optimistic about this connection okay they ha they are finding that clarity they are feeling very very positive about the connection and i feel like for some of them um, they've been asking for a miracle because they felt that maybe this connection is almost impossible to achieve okay so they ask for a miracle and i feel that you know the universe is giving it to them for some of them i feel that they have been having a lot of financial issues okay um they wanted to come and see you but they had some finance financial issues all right i feel like this person um needed to overcome that poverty consciousness okay um, for some of them they have been going through a lot of hardship okay that's why they have been maybe a little bit felt like they are I don't know like um, they felt that they are out in the cold like you know there's not enough money for you know for them to travel or to come and see you especially like you know if you're living um, in long distance from each other this person felt that maybe they don't have like even money to get a ticket and come and visit you because with the chariot I'm saying that definitely you know there's traveling involved or this person needed to have enough money or finances in order to come and visit you so the reason that they haven't been coming is because of that so this is what they have been dealing with and what what else the spirit is saying is that um, things are really moving fast um, in the life of your person at this time yes they are you know still maybe experiencing some of these financial difficulties but i see that they, they are finding a way to come and visit you or to come and see you so definitely expect um a whole lot of things happening especially communication coming from this person and it says fast communication movement rapid change immediate action excitement definitely they, they are this like kind of communication is coming um from them and they are going to be they are going to be so excited about it okay i feel like they have um you know um the energy that i'm seeing right now is this um, poverty consciousness consciousness is something that they had to overcome all right so this is what's happening right now within this connection is that i feel like it's moving really really fast okay especially on your person's end things are moving and there's going to be communication coming from them because they are feeling like more positive um, they're feeling more confident that they can move forward okay um, they're finding that real power to come towards you okay it's almost like as if they made this goal um, for themselves and say okay by the end of like you know this year i really really want to go and see leo or i really want to you know do something about it all right but it's not even like something to, you know to do it's like i am going to visit this person i am going to do this and um and i feel that uh the connection is moving so fast that as perhaps in the past they were very stuck in that material world in that poverty consciousness all right and i'm also seeing that this poverty consciousness has been something that they have been dealing with maybe for um could could have been like lifetime after lifetime because it says persistence of spiritual poverty 
you know they felt like they don't have enough okay they didn't feel like you know they're good enough or they are like they have it in them to pursue you okay so it could be a cancer aquarius definitely cancer and aquarius they have it in their chart for sure all right for some of you they could also have um sagittarius and um for you leo what they are saying is that um you are someone very um compassionate very warm very caring and i'm saying that you have been showing a lot of empathy and a lot of like compassion towards your person you also are very very intuitive very supportive okay for some videos that you're watching this you could be empaths as well and i feel like you um you in a way you know i feel like you understood how this person is um maybe a little bit reluctant uh, towards the connection maybe you felt their pain maybe for some of you uh, you've been feeling them maybe you felt like they're down or you know they're not feeling like that powerful to come towards you but something else that you leo you discovered in your relationship is you also learned how to um perhaps love yourself there was something like a powerful lesson that was kind of like hidden within all of these things that was going on maybe you felt um maybe you were feeling this person and you were thinking okay maybe the issue that we cannot meet it's only because uh, they're feeling poor or they feel like they can't do it but why can't they accept uh, my help why can't they um, do this and that but I feel like you in a way came into conclusion um, of like being more compassionate towards them understanding them understanding that you know perhaps this is like kind of like their pride as well maybe they did not want it to ask you for money or maybe they were just too um, in any case their finances you know uh, was not in a good shape okay but things are moving things are changing and as we are speaking the energy of now is very very positive okay now for you leo i feel that um I feel like you've been um, standing on your ground, you know, maybe you've been, um, you know, whatever that you said to this person, you're saying that I still love you and I still care about you. Um, but maybe also you needed to step a little bit back and love yourself, okay? Um, I feel like you definitely love this person unconditionally. I mean, we have the Leo card here. This is so beautiful. And of course, it talks about your inner strength, but also it talks about um, the compassion that you have, not only towards this person, but also towards yourself. So I feel like, you know, you have all the strength in order to overcome this um, time of like perhaps them feeling like not worthy okay maybe them feeling not worthy especially when it comes to finances for you it has been about loving yourself like self-love maybe you've been learning um i feel like by loving them you are also learning how to love yourself okay this is the unconditional love that you have for them and with the infinity look at that this is beautiful i mean they're talking about that um you know the twin flame connection or the infinity is symbolizing that this love is eternal all right and they're saying that you have the strength to overcome whatever that is right now standing in front of you you have it okay you have that inner strength you have that courage to um to do whatever that is needed at this time okay and i also see that it it's taking you a whole lot to heal yourself and also learning how to be patient because the process of healing doesn't happen like in one day. I feel like you've been very patiently working on your healing. You've been um, trying to find balance within yourself, trying to find um, peace, you know, and you are succeeding, you know. I'm seeing that you are succeeding in that. And you are also perhaps um, in a way protecting this connection um even though like maybe other people might be telling you like this is not a good idea or this person is like this and that okay it could be like there is social status gap between the both of you as well maybe they felt like less of all right but all of these issues that they were having 
maybe you thought this is the reason why you two are not meeting yet but actually the issue has been or what has been the lesson is um, for you Leo to learn to love yourself okay unconditionally just like you love other people and just like you love um, your person or your loved one it doesn't have to be a twin fan it could be a soulmate whatever that your beliefs are it doesn't really matter okay so because sometimes we call we use these terms in order to understand the connections better and of course the twin fame connection is um you know a very very powerful soul connection so maybe for some of you that is the case with the infinity that i'm saying like this is an you know eternal love okay and as you see this lady or this divine feminine she is she has the lion and the lion is just like sitting you know beside her very peacefully like she's not afraid look at that she's in control she's definitely in control and um that is beautiful okay so um the energy of the union what we have here is that i feel like you know what this connection right now stand for or you know what are the energies are showing is that both of you want exactly the same thing both of you want this um it says divine love oh my god guys do you see divine love both of you want this happily ever after together um and i feel like both of you also want to have a family you know this is what i'm saying that and this is the energy of now so you know if you are like let's say getting to the mind and heart of your person or you know take a look at it you know what you will see is this and you will be in shock perhaps maybe you thought that this is only you like wanting that but they also want this they also want this so badly actually and it says blissful relationship because they also know that this is going to be a blissful one this is they also know that it's going to fulfill them all right and i feel like this is what is like currently both of you are feeling that both of you want to be together both of you want to have a family together and this is all about like family you know you two are very family oriented it's not like you two want to get together just for fun or just for a few days or a few months even you two want to have that like forever kind of a connection and uh, maybe you thought it's only you but they also have that desire okay so i'm seeing that yes they are like taking action towards you and this is happening now these are the energies of now all right and um we also have um the ten of pentacles and as you guys know the ten of pentacles is a very um earthy and a stable card and it talks about family but it also talks about like a long-term family okay so what spirit is saying is that both of you also want to have this prosperous life together you know like the goal is or what you two are wishing at this time is um to have that long-term relationship not only like that but also having like that um you know comfort of the material world as well like you two want to have that so you know for them it had to do with overcoming this poverty consciousness like thinking that they don't have enough to get there because they really really want to give you that yeah they really want to give you like um you know what i'm saying here is that they both of you want to like uh, almost like leave a legacy you know having that kind of a powerful a uh, bond together not just like let's say you know it's like a um you know it's going to be like the um roots of a family for like generations to come kind of a thing like you two will be remembered for your um what you have done not only i feel like for your own family but also i feel like you two are going to leave a legacy all right and uh, if you're a twin fame you know this could be like your mission something that you're going to leave along with your twin fame and it's gonna affect the whole world as well okay so it's not like only you know your you and your divine counterpart i feel like it's generations after that okay um which is also gonna bring like a lot of prosperity into the connection as well which is very very beautiful okay so what is happening right now is that you are going to receive a message a message is coming fast communication movement rapid change immediate action excitement so this is what's coming towards you guys and um hold on a second okay
I also feel that, you know, the second question that I was asking Spirit about what are some of the influences or let's say external influences or internal influences. I feel like the internal influence is that this person has been feeling like that poverty consciousness. Okay. So this is what has been influencing maybe their decision to come and see you. Okay. So all right um but i'm gonna take a look at other influences let's get to the second question of like what are some of the other influences the other thing that i forgot to mention and i know that usually because i channel the energies um in the beginning as an introduction but um spirit is showing me like a lion and a butterfly i don't know why they are showing me that maybe because there's transformation that has happened in the life of your person um, I, or I feel like maybe the energies are getting lighter and lighter for both of you. All right. I don't know why they are showing me that, but it's uh, it's interesting because um, butterfly is a symbol of transformation. And, you know, of course, Leo or lion is your sign. And it's almost like a, something soft is coming like maybe their energy is getting like softer maybe it's getting a little bit more um they feel like they can travel perhaps i don't know let's take a look and see <laughs> okay let's take a look and see um okay spirit please show me what is what are some of the influences what is influencing this connection at this time sorry guys i think it was out of focus okay let's see what are some of the influences okay we have the sun oh my goodness okay this is so beautiful and um it says your plans will work out well bringing you happiness prosperity and success you'll garner the recognition for your accomplishment accomplishments you so richly deserve this is for you leo so beautiful you're going to be seeing, and there is a butterfly here. There is a butterfly. You might be seeing butterflies or a bluebird, um, number 19. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know what I can tell you guys, but number 19 has been showing up in a lot of readings. And of course, it's number 10. So it's talking about a new beginning as well. But the sun is also um, the ruler of your planet. So a lot of like... Um, you know what Spirit is saying is that your plan is going to work out, okay? Um you gonna get what you deserve when it comes to, to your connection so you know stay patient okay stay patient because it's coming for you um but maybe you are not seeing it yet okay so let me see um what is influencing and we have the veil oh my goodness guys something like really fated spirit is saying is happening and we have number 10 Oh my God, this is crazy. And we have the reindeer and says, expect a sudden positive in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. And of course, this is like the wheel of fortune playing here. Okay, let's see. And I'm seeing that something could be happening. Like for some of you, it's summer. For others, it's winter time. Okay, so if you are living in northern hemispheres it could be winter and in southern it could be like summer when something significant is happening okay all right now what is influencing okay all right we have the six of summer and it says goose and it says the love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived oh my god leo it's really beautiful <clears throat> i feel like you are for some of you that you're watching this um perhaps you have kids okay or maybe you're wishing to have a child with this person i feel like for some of you you are you really want to have a family with them regardless of if you want to have kids or not this is like the influences okay this is like influencing um the connection at this time and um, what else do we have you also have the polar bear this is beautiful and um, it says embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called to act as a mentor find a new teacher or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path this is on your person's end okay so i feel like they are finding like 
you know that unity within them but also i feel that um they feel like it's time to maybe like join you okay um it's almost like as if they feel like they need to join to join their family and you are their family i mean you are like their soul family not like let's say the blood family but you know this is how they feel um let me see what else is influencing we also have the four of spring the author oh my goodness it's time to kick back relax and celebrate all that you have joy arises from success in your career the completion of a project a very happy home life okay so i see that as a four of wands okay and um, for some of you i'm seeing canada and um i'm also for some reason seeing like holland or like germany okay i don't know why i'm seeing that but um also i'm seeing like um, northern lights or somewhere like maybe where there's like really really cold weather okay could be you or them Spirit, what is influencing this connection? We also have the King of Spring, and look at that. I mean, look at this Leo. Oh my God! And it says Katanga Lion. Now it's your moment to step up to a leadership role. Don't uh, back away from the, from the spotlight, as your plan will be successful as long as you stay focused upon the big picture. This is so beautiful. And look at this lion. Looking at looking at this like little bird here. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing that you guys might be like receiving some messages like why up um, any of these spirit animals, okay? Especially a bird, like a blue bird. All right, spirit, please tell me what is, what are influencing this connection? We also have the five of summer and it says dragonfly, okay? And it says, focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest intention of uh, for you. A positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's, li life's little difficulties so that you can move onward and upward. Okay, so yeah, dragonfly is also a symbol of transformation as well. So, And there was a butterfly as well, a little butterfly. What else do we have? We also have the Princess of Summer. Oh my God, guys, these cards are really, really like positive. And it says you can expect to, ki uh, to kindle a new romantic relationship or close um, platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. Okay. Okay, deer also could be like your spirit animal. It's being showed up and let's see we also have the dreamer wow beautiful okay it's beautiful look at all of these butter butterflies again number 10 or you know this is the full energy and it says you are starting a new adventure run free and take a leap of faith on your person's end okay so they really are like gonna take a leap of faith towards the connection we also have ego all right and this is number 15 this is on their end again um it says uh siamis um siamis cat i don't know how to pronounce but I, I don't know um you guys know better and says you may feel that you are trapped in your situation but that's not true be careful not to overly focus upon material world and break free of negative thinking so this is for your person um yeah i'm seeing like some of you like have like uh Maybe they have like Siami cats or maybe they have like a um, shepherd puppy. This is interesting. They are very, very specific. I don't know. Maybe like they are, they could be like a dog person. You're a cat person. Okay. That could be for some of you. And um, just a second. Okay. All right, guys, so what is influencing this connection at this time is that for them, it also has to do with their ego. Now, why, as I told you guys, they have been emphasizing a lot on the material world, exactly that, you know? And it says, um, be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. So, you know, they thought that the more that they have, you know, the more that they can perhaps be, um, seen as a successful person or maybe as i said this person you know what is influencing 
um, you know, the connection, it has been about them focusing too much on uh, the material things or that poverty consciousness, they have to overcome this issue or this wound within themselves. Okay, and they thought like they cannot move because of that. Maybe they even have told you that um, they're not doing well or maybe even for some of you they didn't say anything because of their ego or because of their pride they did not want to show you that they feel that way or they don't have enough money or they thought that if they tell you then you might look down on them or you might you know you might feel like they're not worthy of love or of this love okay so this is something that's influencing the connection um, but something also positive is happening for them is that or influencing is that um, they are realizing more and more that um, I feel like they're more and more realizing that they are um, growing or they are on a sacred path in a way um, maybe for some of them they are realizing that this connection is teaching them something okay they are spiritually growing they are uh, finding unity or union within themselves okay so this is also influencing them and in all of these ones if you guys take a look there is like a little butterfly you know there is this little butterfly which tells me like there is like a transformation happening okay maybe for some of them they're seeking like um advice from like counselors okay maybe it's been very very tough for them especially when it comes to their career they could have had a lot of issues okay but um this is a very very positive influence life path number five six is being showed up or it could be like their birthday could be actually on the 15 okay or for some like on the uh on the f uh, on the fifth okay on the fifth month all right for some of you it could be like their birthday is being showed up like 5 15 okay the month the fifth month on the 15 for some of you this is their birthday um they thought that maybe they want they should buy you jewelry they should they want to do that they want to spoil you but you know i feel like they've been trapped in that um, situation because they thought that if they are not like you know giving you enough then they are not worthy or you're not going to consider them okay so this is what has been influencing um, or influencing the connection and also you know there are too many good things like happening that are influencing right now because this is the only thing that is holding them back okay but the good thing is that there is this transformation happening for them with a dragonfly and it says focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest of intention for you a positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties so that you can move onward and and um, upwards so I feel like you know something is changing for them okay um, this is an influence that's happening um, I feel like this could be like an outside influence so what they are experiencing as their ego is something that is reflecting also in the outside world and this is changing okay because of their ego they felt like trapped but now i'm seeing that they are getting themselves out of that situation they want to take a leap of faith towards you they're saying okay i know that you know i have still maybe financial issues i know that these are still could be like the problem but i'm willing to take the risk to towards leo or i want to take a risk towards this connection with the dreamer okay um they have such a playful energy around them this person is like an adventurer maybe and says you're starting a new adventure run free and take a leap of faith they really really are like you know um taking a leap of faith towards the connection very like i feel like their energy is um what is influencing is exactly that ego like not um not realizing that we are all one you know not finding that you know unity which is also like changing as i said okay yeah which is maybe for some of them they are like teachers i don't know they're like teachers on a sacred path um but maybe at this time they're also seeking someone to help them 
okay like they could be a teacher but maybe they're seeking like um, spiritual advisors um, so this is a good thing these are really really like positive influences okay now for you Leo what are the influences is that spirit is saying that your plans are moving forward you need to believe that okay and um, I mean look at that it's just you have so many cards that are just a confirmation and how many times you guys are getting the Leo energy here um, and it says now is your time to step up to a leadership role maybe for some of you yes this could be um, what is happening in your business or in your um, career okay and don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so as long as you stay focused upon the big picture so something that also spirit is saying is that um, perhaps you also needed to look at the connection from a higher perspective or or seeing the big picture of it as opposed to just like um okay this person is not putting enough efforts i'm not seeing them they're not coming to see me you know um maybe there are there has been something like uh, more meaningful more like a spiritual lesson behind it that you are learning all right and i feel like you know also they're saying that you're going to be stepping into some kind of a leadership role maybe for some of you you already are a boss but maybe you're going to be like even doing like more of these maybe for some of you um what I'm also saying here is that for some of you, you might be even like leading the connection to where it needs to go. It's almost like as if you are the leader. And I feel like later on, this person is going to like also follow you or come with you. I wouldn't say like follow, but it's almost like, you know, you have that authority. You have that. You are the one who really inspires them. You're very, very inspiring to your person. So I feel like they really want to like you know just do it they just want to do it they just want to like go after these butterflies change their life you know um and definitely you know spirit is you know also encouraging them to take that leap of faith towards the connection it's very beautiful um <laughs> it's very beautiful it's like you know it's there is and there's like also this bird i don't know like a bluebird is being showed up so you might be seeing that okay for some of you um as i said timing is like spring uh, sorry like summer or uh, winter they're also showing springtime okay but summer and um, winter is being showed up for you guys and um, yeah look at that and it says you can't you can expect to rekindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship you may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone oh my god guys it's coming for you okay so there is a message coming all right these are the energies of now so i don't know for some of you guys i feel like this is happening like even if you are like watching this or like it's happening really really soon after this reading possibly because I feel like this is the energy of now for you okay just a second okay so um this is this and let me see um what else the spirit is saying yeah i mean like i want to read, read this to you guys again too because it's beautiful and absolutely what spirit wants to say your plans will work out bringing you happiness prosperity and success you'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve you deserve this okay you deserve this happily ever after and it is fated for you it's gonna happen no matter what all right i mean with the ten of pentacles ten of cups it's gonna also be like very very stable connection all right and this is what also something that both of you so desire to have it together okay um for some of you yeah i'm saying that you could be like uh, mothers maybe you have two kids for some of you um you might be you know also having like a lot of memories or i don't know maybe for some of you this could be like a childhood um like someone that you knew from your childhood or they feel like that way even if they are not maybe they feel that way 
okay so but your dreams are coming true okay your dreams are coming true definitely very very positive you're very sensitive very kind very open-hearted um definitely a dear <laughs> energy is coming and it's interesting because leo is also being showed up as a king of spring oh my god um okay and also of course with the energy of the union what is it that you two are creating or like making that future is now you know the, the future is now all right it's happening and since it's time to kick back relax and celebrate all that you have joy arises from success in your career the completion of a project or a very happy home life i'm saying that it's both for you it's definitely both in your career and also your love life all right so um that is so beautiful and it's i don't know i'm also saying like sorry guys i have to like tell you guys because i'm also saying like some past lives at a time of renaissance okay so italy is also coming to me very very strong like especially like renaissance the time of renaissance is coming okay all right canada also mm, okay all right guys it could also be africa south africa as well all right just a second okay so um what is it um yeah like i think i'm gonna leave those two questions for the membership side if you guys are interested but i'm also gonna take a look how do they feel about it now so let's see how do they feel about this connection um you know now <laughs> okay like what is it that they feel right now let's see what do they feel right now year of dog as well i forgot to mention yeah year of dog okay all right how do they feel okay how do they feel it says becoming no right becoming number 34 which is number seven life path number seven we also have the void okay on their end i mean we're gonna take a look at how do they feel okay how do they feel we also have devotion to the small okay all right we also have yin yang lover <laughs> hmm all right so how do they feel is that they feel that you know they f they they are feeling like very empty okay they feel like empty but it's a good thing you know some people say that you know when you feel empty it's not a good thing because it's just that everything is meaningless and all of that but this emptiness is like a space that is being created by spirit for them to ha to become who they truly are okay and i also feel like they've been always been feeling this um void within them that you are feeling it like slowly okay so they feel like they are becoming um who they truly are because of you okay because of this connection there is that um something is happening to them we have the yin yang lover number eight life fat number eight and it also has like that infinity as you know number eight okay it could be like um oh my god the eight the month uh uh, maybe it's like another leo i don't know um yeah it could be like a fire sign sagittarius too but they're saying that it could be like another leo as well <laughs> right i don't know why they're showing that but it could be because the eighth month or like it could be that this is their birthday like the eight the day um the eighth day or like the eighth of the month okay like um that's also what's showing up but how they feel is that they feel like you two are like yin yang you know they feel like you two are opposites and yet you two are like you know dancing this yin and yang together dancing this like masculine 
um, feminine energy together, like you two, um, and with the yin yang, you know, it's like the dance of the opposites. Okay, and also they're saying that this is they feel like you two belong together. This is how they truly feel. All right, that you two are belong together. Um, it also says devotion to the small and you know how they feel is that they feel like you are someone that you um care about even like the smallest like i don't know animals or like plants here you know you're very compassionate and you they see you like someone very like devoted um maybe even to the connection and they feel that way towards you they feel like you're someone that is like even though maybe um they feel like they are very small or they're not very worthy of this love they feel like you're still like care for them okay that's how they feel about um the connection and also with the becoming you know they are becoming who they are they are going through a transformation things are changing for your person okay definitely things are changing with the dragonfly i mean you know i feel like you are like helping them to also accept themselves okay and just focus upon the fact that god loves you you know this is what they are realizing okay and has the highest intention for you a positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties i don't know i mean I feel like their difficulty has been about finances strongly that they are overcoming that could be like 32 the age that are being showed up 34 okay um, yeah these are the energies and um, if you guys are interested I'm gonna also take a look at uh, a little bit like to future energies but remember that we make our own future but if you are interested to listen more to these readings then you can also um, come to our membership site if you are interested and i'm going to cover what will happen in the future and also what is the spirit advice about this connection all right we're going to cover like more deeply a little bit but i'm also going to give you guys charms so don't worry even if you have been watching my videos nothing has changed all right um it's the same length that i always been giving you guys so i'm not gonna cut it i'm just gonna go deeper if you want to join me okay so there you go guys you're not gonna lose any of these free readings if you have been watching this channel so don't worry oh my god guys number eight are you kidding me okay okay number nine all right so um life at number eight life at number nine eight and nine i don't know hmm for some of you maybe they are like in this in september born in september or ninth of the nine or eight these are like really like important um dates and let me see what it says let's let me read the first one number eight first and it says you and i have known each other for such a long time it's um it's beyond this lifetime so yeah there you go guys this is like this is exactly what they believe like you two are yin yang lovers you know like this connection goes beyond this lifetime this is how your person truly feels about it okay with number eight and um what was the number how did i put that oh let's read the number nine too so and it says you and i have a very important mission together this is our twin flame mission oh my god yeah definitely this is like you know this is also how they feel and it also says this connection is overwhelming t for me it's um it's a strong this love letter s letter t <coughs> sorry guys we also have lonely sad dark night of the soul separation all right twin flame so for some of you this is what they have been going through they have been going through that dark night of the soul something that maybe they've been feeling like empty for a really long time perhaps but this is like a is actually leading them towards back towards this connection we just have sunflowers guys this is the sun energy this is the leo energy this is a lot of like positive energies okay um 
I don't know. It's like, you know, whatever that you've been thinking about the connection is going to work out for you guys. And you really, really deserve that. I also feel like it's not only about love. I feel like it's about your career as well. You're going to succeed, Leo, in whatever that you're doing right now. I mean, a lot of, lot of blessings are coming. It's like, the, you know, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow kind of a situation is happening. And there is a heart here. So yes for some of you this is definitely like your rainbow or your happily ever after is on its way all right and we have some signs here we have virgo libra and um what else do we have here i'm just looking to see if there are any other signs but <clears throat> it's also aquarius okay um, but you know they're also talking about to have to have faith or to keep faith because your person is feeling like really really positive actually Libra or a Virgo for some of you or maybe you have it in your chart it could be but we also have the butterfly guys which means like you know and there is a light there is a <laughs> there's a uh, look at that there's like this um, like the symbol of leo there is that like um royalty with a butterfly so i feel like you two you know how can i say this guys i feel like there is like a huge history between you guys okay either this lifetime or like previous lifetime there's something about it it's like it also tells me that you two are gonna be leaving a legacy together all right like uh, something like a I don't know like you guys are gonna build an empire together all right um <clears throat> and with the butterfly definitely you know this is something that's happening i don't know i'm seeing like you two are like leaving some kind of a legacy all right there's like a legacy of like a, you know you two are also going to be wealthy this is what i'm seeing <laughs> all right and um yeah there is like a i don't know just like a snowflake so i don't know i'm seeing like canada or somewhere like you know that could be cold and yes i know that canada is not always cold uh, but yeah i mean it can be very cold during the winter so um okay guys um i think that let me see i'm also seeing like um, mexico texas all right i'm also saying that and yeah definitely texas for some reason or like arizona texas okay but they're also showing like a hummingbird <clears throat> so there's joy coming to you leo there's joy all right there's joy for some of you maybe they have to get on a car like they have to i feel like for something maybe they have to just like pass um I don't know pass a bridge or go from like one state to another kind of a thing to visit you because with the chariot usually the chariot is like taking um is like by car okay this is how i see it it's like transportation by car but i mean it could be like by train or it could be like it is by you know it's not by air so yeah for some of you it could be that um but although you know of course you know it represents like travel as well so um it's very interesting because it also talks about the opposing the opposing um forces working towards a goal <laughs> this is very very interesting i don't know if you guys can see and also they're showing like ancient egypt as well that i see oh my god yes for some of you you had like a past life with them okay it, it, there's cancer energy as i said all right so you're gonna get rewarded for this leo even though it could have been very very tough okay very tough okay yeah i mean there's like a uh, three years so um you two are gonna have a family there's no doubt that this connection is gonna get very very stable bringing a lot of abundance as well um for the both of you okay so oh my god and i also forgot i mean there's a, like a paw here i don't know who has a pet there's a pet all right so i mean i feel like um i don't know maybe there's a you know there's like a very very close connection to a to an animal is being showed up could be like a pet as you know they're saying like a cat or a dog or 
all right guys i hope that you enjoyed your reading my lovely videos and i'm sending all of you so much love until next time